The 7th annual Miami Beach Polo World Cup set on the sands of Miami Beach April 23rd excited polo fans collectively. Polo fan and chairman of the Miami Beach Patriots, John Dolan, spoke regarding polo interests, Tea Party initiatives, and just maybe Donald Trump will run for president. And uh, quite enjoyable to be on the beach in uh, South Beach, uh, Florida, and we're doing quite well today. Perfect. Well, you're also a member of um, the Miami Tea Party, correct? I am a member of the Miami Tea Party, and we actually uh, were helping quite a bit last week with the uh, South Florida Tea Party. We actually had a uh, Donald Trump and uh, Colonel Allen West did a great job. We probably had 3,500 people in a small facility, outdoor park, and we're very uh, happy for the success. Okay, so tell us a little bit about um, some of the things that I'd like to put into the project now. As far as the Sea Party goes, we want to take America back. Right? We want to, you know, we're not you know, far right, far left, we're not crazy. We want to make sure that, you know, America is strong and firm once again. And, uh, you know, we're just not happy with what's going on. You know, DC spends too much money, and they're not really uh, helping the common man. I mean, I think if we went back to, uh, not that I like any taxes, but I think everybody should be paying something. So I'm in favor of flat tax across the country for everybody. Everybody pays 10%. And we don't need any other, uh, you know, we'll have more money, more jobs than we've ever seen in America. You know, Donald Trump is, uh, is very smart. You know, even though he's a, uh, you know, a TV personality, he's telling the tale that Ronald Reagan told him. And I think he's got a lot of support. So, um, is he running for president, Donald Trump? Well, you know, if I was Donald, uh, you know, I'm not going to speak for Donald, but I would probably uh, keep the rhetoric up, ask the questions. Right or wrong, I mean, you know, you know, I'm not a birther, but I do want to know where this guy's, you know, first certificate is, and what it says. I have a funny feeling he probably was, met, you know, born here, but I think his first certificate says he was a Muslim, and that would freak out a lot of people. Can you tell me how um, community members, leaders can get more involved with the uh, Miami Tea Party? Yeah. Well, with the Miami Tea Party, you're more than welcome. We have, uh, uh, well, it actually started with Gina Fuller up in Westerly Tea Party, Westerly, Rhode Island. And Peter Bach and a bunch of our friends, Dan Mazinski. And, and then when I came down here, because we kind of come down in the winter, we hooked up with Everett Wilkinson and Pam and Jeff and uh, Palm Beach. And they just did a fantastic job. So, you know, we were just helping them out. And it just turned out that, you know, they needed security. They needed water. And everybody needs water. So it worked out. And, uh, yeah, I love Colonel Hog West. He's my man. He's a paratrooper. I mean, that guy, and I told him the other day, I said, you know, he should be running for president. <laughs> or there could be a dynamic duo between him and Donald Trump. So, um, you have another product that you're also owner of, um, Prosperous. Well, I, I cannot say as of today I'm the, the owner, but I have a partner. I partnered with Charles Tobias and Jim Jackson. Great folks. In fact, if you see this video, Charles, happy birthday. We are on the, actually the cameraman can verify we are doing painkiller testing and tasting on the beach for these guys. And uh, wish you a happy birthday. Marlene wishes you a happy birthday. Charles is 78 today. Hey, wow, this young birthday. man does 100 push-ups in the morning and at night. And we're just so proud of him and Joanna and, uh, you know, uh, Dick is, uh, runs the... Uh, the Munich place. I mean, these guys have built up a brand like I've never seen. And we're just, you know, guys who want to try and help promote and really make it the number one global brand in the world. And we're in, like, we're in every continent. We've had people drink punches from on Antarctica, in Australia, South Africa. And, uh, and now, you know, yes, we uh, have stuff for the royal wedding. Oh, wow. Which is for, uh, we have two new drinks out, uh, which is the uh, Prince William, which is the Pusser's uh, number three painkiller with a little, um, let's call it orange liqueur floater. And then we have the Lady Katie <laughs> that you may see on uh, a few of the networks this week. Which is a little puster shrub, a little raspberry liqueur, and a little uh, champagne. And we saw our friend today coming in here, Phil Keating, from Fox News and Geraldo. 
Stick with Sand, Nazmus, we got to go through, Marlene, you just interviewed, uh, Patty Shot. I mean, we got a whole bunch of people that I would, you know, call rum ambassadors. And we got the whole guys from Jin. I don't know who, if you know who Jin is, but they're global investor network, and these guys are too great. Well, Pasta Rump sounds extraordinary, and it sounds like something that everyone should be purchasing. Uh, where can people pick this brand up? Well, they can go to Pusters, P U S S E R S, dot com for. Uh, we have Pusters Rum Cake, Pusters Rum. We have, you can get the Marina K and see all the. I mean, we have an eight acre island over there that's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, run by some really nice people. You can literally fly into DBI Tortola and walk, no caps, to our little dock, and then you get 15 minute ferry ride. Really nice. We got Charles, we got all the guys over there, and they'll take Kendrick, our GM, and uh, they'll, they'll take care of you. It's just a. Uh, it's a fascinating place because we have we have 155 cruise ships that come in to our toll every year. But the crowd that comes in is because we have 40 moorings that come in to the uh, the island. They can do their laundry and soon we're going to do fluff and fold so everybody can... You know, they don't have to worry. They're out of sea for 30 days. Who wants to do laundry? Not yeah. me. <laughs> so, you know, we got Charles Tobias' birthday. It's 78th birthday. And when he sees this, and hopefully you guys will be down there. You tell me yeah, on yeah, your yeah. Virgin Islands next week. <laughs> I'll get you a personal interview. If you'd like, it's like the man. This guy is good as gold. So, retired Marine, but he never retired. Flew 119 combat missions. He's an American patriot. So, I thank you guys for everything, and uh, hopefully you'll see the man soon. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for having us here. Thank you so much. Um, this is Mr. Smith, according for Celebrity Addict TV. And remember, it's celebrity indulgence at its best.